This video will cover how to set the layout direction of your choice, how to divide floors and walls, and how to split a wall. First, let's go over setting layout direction. Here I have a room with a cutout in the middle. I will apply a separate carpet to each. Now, say I wanted to change the layout direction of the carpet. If I only want to set horizontal or vertical layouts quickly, I can go into Estimate, pick either option, choose the carpets I want, and click Done. If I want to do a different layout, I will click on the Room, go to I, Layout Direction, and using my finger, I will drag the arrow on the carpet in the direction I want the layout. I can also do the same thing for changing the layout direction of the cutout. I will first click on the room that the cutout is in, click on the I layout direction, and this time drag it on the carpet inside the cutout. However, remember that if you ever use this manual layout direction option through the I, the ability to pick horizontal or vertical through the estimate icon will no longer work for this project unless you go back to the eye and click Reset Layout. Now, let's see how to divide a floor or a wall. To divide a floor, you will go to the eye, Resize, Divide Floor. Pick your points and click Done. Now you can drag a different product into the divided section. If you ever want to erase the divider, you'll simply drag it out. Now we'll see how to edit a wall. Click on the eye of the room, resize, edit wall. Move your finger up or down to position the line. And you can do the same vertically. Now to split a wall, I will go to the same place and click split wall. I pick a point on the wall that I want to split, and then I'll click Done. You will know how the wall is split if you click on a piece of the wall and see the blue pop-up on your diagram. As a cautionary note for the end of this video, if you are ever clicking on your room or cutout and you don't see its walls, Make sure that when you go to Views, View Options, that your Wall option is toggled.